Puff was the first one that came through and made us feel like, you know, it was us. You know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. I don't know. But look at her, y'all. Like, look at her. Something is going on with her. Like, look, she don't look... She don't look right, y'all. She don't look right. Y'all, Diddy really said, if I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. So word on the street is that Diddy is trying to get revenge on his BFF, Jay-Z, for giving him the cold shoulder amid the recent controversy. Allegedly, Diddy is on a mission to spill all of Jay-Z's dirty secrets. And the rumor mill is buzzing with speculation that Beyonce is trying to get out of that marriage before Jay gets exposed as Diddy 2.0. So you know how Jay-Z hosts a pre-Grammy Rock Nation brunch every year? Well, this year he decided to cancel the whole shindig. And rumor has it, he's trying to avoid running into Diddy at all costs. We know that Diddy used to be a regular at Rock Nation events. And shortly after Cassie opened the floodgates with her lawsuit, he and Jay-Z used to hang out in public all the time. But you know Jay-Z is ruthless when it comes to cutting off people when they become a liability. And that's allegedly what he did to Brother Love. But the streets are saying Diddy is not going down by himself and he might tell on Jay-Z and how he allegedly treats Beyonce behind closed doors. Child, there's a lot to unpack here, so let's get into it. This is how he couldn't even give a straight answer as to when he met her. I wonder why. And notice how their interviewer was definitely setting him up. And we can take it back a step further. We can go all the way back to when he was trying to get with Aaliyah. The Foxy rumors. This man has a legit history of what he's allegedly doing to Beyonce now. So rumors are swirling again that the Carter's marriage is on the rocks. And while these types of rumors are nothing new, fans are now convinced something is going on because Beyonce has been acting strange lately. And allegedly it all started unraveling after Jay-Z's close buddy, Sean Diddy Combs got exposed for doing all kinds of depraved things behind closed doors. So to give you some context, Jay-Z and Diddy were super close until recently. And just months before Cassie filed her lawsuit, Diddy said in an interview that only two people are allowed to call him by his government name, Sean, his mom, and Jay-Z. Diddy also still has this picture of him and Jay-Z up on his website, Combs Global, and you can tell he's really flaunting their friendship. Besides that, a number of industry insiders have suggested that Jay and Diddy have a lot in common in terms of how they treat people. One of them is Jaguar Wright, who went a step further with her allegations, pointing out how a lot of people who used to roll tight with Jay, like Big L, faced some real tragic outcomes. The first time I ever saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York. But he didn't show up as Jay-Z. He didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street. He showed up as that was with Big L. Rest For in those peace. of you. Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. One of the that dopest. Was the One of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. Yeah. Of course. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z. A whole bunch of fans noticed that the way Jaguar was talking about Jay-Z is straight up matching how she and a whole bunch of others spilled the tea about Diddy. Now, when we talk about Diddy, there's a long list of people who passed away untimely, got sick, or straight up vanished from the industry scene after getting involved with Brother Love. It's wild because the tally of those occurrences is longer than Diddy's list of number one records. And as Jaguar Wright pointed out, you are the company you keep. So it's no coincidence that Jay and Diddy have been close friends for decades. He starts clientele with Tupac and clientele with Biggie and doing songs with Biggie and building a working, you know, camaraderie with Honeycombs and um, AKA Diddler, I mean Diddy. And- um, Why do you give him the Honeycombs? Why, why do you give him Honeycombs? Cause he smacks so sweet. I might 
anyway. But that's not all Jaguar said. She also touched on Jay's alleged relationships with such female artists like Foxy Brown, Tiara Marie, and Aaliyah. And this brings us to Beyonce because she was allegedly just 16 when 28-year-old Jay-Z started plotting how to get with her. Now, Beyonce always claimed she met Jay when they were 18 and they started dating when she was 19. But in a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay got mad nervous when asked how long he had known Beyonce. And then he let it slip they met 10 years ago. Ago. Wow, a long time. How long? Ten years? How long? How long? However long she's been recording. That's, that's <laughs> when I met her. Uh, well, don't you remember how long it was? Yeah, when I met her. I mean, was it five I, years ago? Was it? I long? met her ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, did you say to yourself at that time, "Wow"? I, I said, "Yeah, she's that's a fantastic uh, talent." That was that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, because you saw she, talent first, before you saw talent before you saw anything yeah, else. Yeah, because she was singing like a rapper. So if you do the math, they met in 1997, which means Beyonce was either 15 or 16, depending on the month. Beyonce only had one boyfriend before Jay Z, and it was Puppy Love. You know, high school stuff. Plus, even though she's been performing from a young age, Beyonce lived a pretty sheltered life, especially compared to Jay Z's. So it's not just the age difference, which is problematic enough. It's the fact that they were worlds apart in terms of life experience and maturity. And when you add on to that, Jay's sketchy behavior around super young ladies like Foxy Brown and Aaliyah, well, it's enough to make you side-eye the whole power couple image Jay and Beyonce have been trying to push for decades. And don't even get me started on Jay cheating on Beyonce and then publicly embarrassing her by saying she's the strongest woman he knows for taking his cheating behind back. And, you know, for us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that that cycle, um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome. And get this: when he was asked if the outcome would have been the same if Beyonce had cheated on him, Jay said he hoped he would have been as strong as she was. So yeah. she would have been on the other foot, you know, yeah. if the transgressions had been on her side. Mm -hmm. Do you think you would be able to be as forgiving of her as she was of you? I hope. Uh, again, because I love her the same way, no matter. <laughs> No matter what side, I love her the same way. I, I, I pray that I will because um, her strength and her, you know, you know, man, is the strongest woman I know. Like you know, her and my mother, they battling for number one. one. <laughs> but let's be so for real right now. Y'all think that Jay Z would stay with Beyonce if she publicly cheated on him? The gaslighting is off the charts. Anyway, Beyonce's fans have been talking for a minute now about how something is off with B and how she hasn't been the same since the cheating scandal broke. And then after people started putting the two and two together and connecting the dots between Jay Z and Diddy, reports started circulating that Jay Z. Z might be keeping Beyonce hooked on some substances. Kind of like how Diddy used to pile Cassie with all types before pressuring her into freak offs. This narrative was reignited again after this year's Grammy Awards, where Jay Z gave an awkward speech complaining about how it's not fair that Beyonce, or Young Lady, as he called her, still hasn't received a Grammy for Best Album of the Year. So, even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys. Never won album of the year. That doesn't work. Mind you, Beyonce already has 32 Grammys, while Jay-Z has 24. So the fact that he stood there trying to shade the Recording Academy while accepting another award from that same Academy obviously raised a lot of eyebrows, with fans saying, Jay-Z needs to make up his mind because if he really thinks the Grammys are biased, then why go there and accept another award from these folks? But that's not the only reason folks were side-eyeing Jay over his speech. When the camera panned to Beyonce, she once again looked completely out of it like she was just going through the motions and not really processing what was going on around her. And yes, I know Beyonce claims she's naturally shy, but you and I both know she used to be much more bubbly. Also, as soon as Jay finished his little speech, he, Beyonce, and Blue picked up and left, missing out on the rest of the show. And you know how the beehive is, nothing gets past them. They picked up on the vibes quickly and they're saying something is definitely off in the Carter household. One fan said, I got the impression that there was something else behind this. Jay-Z 
was trying to mend fences with his wife. I wonder what he did to piss Beyonce off. And then another person added, my favorite part of the Grammys was when the guy who cheated on Beyonce said she deserved more respect and support. Well, these fans might be onto something because the word on the street is that Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage is hanging by a thread. Beyonce is allegedly trying to figure out how to get out of there before Jay's skeleton start falling out of the closet, especially now that Diddy is reportedly planning to snitch on him. But I'm just letting you know that once that comes out and Jay-Z is exposed for his nefarious past, you're gonna see Beyonce divorce. By the way, remember how Diddy got that Lifetime Achievement Award just months before Cassie filed her lawsuit? Well, folks are now drawing parallels between him and Jay because Jay was honored with the Global Icon Award at the Grammys. Sure, it could all be a coincidence and we'll just have to wait and see. But if there's anything Diddy's situation taught us, it's that no one is too big to fall and what's done in the dark will always come to light. And even astrologists and mediums have now joined the chat, saying something major will come out about Jay-Z in the near future. One of them said, Jay-Z has a number of very challenging transits coming from next April to well into 2025. People will see him in a very different light. Relationship issues with people too. Public image taking a hit, possibly. And someone else added, I can see this being real. Past transgressions back to bite him era for him. He's gone under the radar for some time now, apparently. Wonder how much of the alleged accusations will unfold true. Furthermore, I wonder if Beyonce is gonna stick beside him through the turmoil and the depleting funds. But what's your take on this? Do you think Jay-Z is going down after Diddy? And could this even mean that the divorce is on the horizon for the Carters? Let me know in the comments and then check out this next video.